sorry to do this again because we've just had an interruption. <laughs> but when and where were you born? Swindon in Wiltshire. Yes. The best part of England, the prettiest part of England. Oh, really? A, ve a very pretty spot, Wiltshire. Wiltshire. Wiltshire, Hampshire and Dorset and Somerset, the nicest part of England. Oh, wow. That's and my advice. grandparents, or my, uh, my great-grandparents, I should say, Oh, here's an Easter hot cross bun brought to me. Can you see the hot cross bun? Oh, lovely. <laughs> I'm they're, not going to start eating it though, not, not while I'm talking. Not <laughs> yet, not yet. Oh, you're in... <laughs> in the wrong way. Oh, mother. She loves potatoes. Oh. She loves potatoes. She and does. Now, what, what do you think has happened now? What's his name, the cook, the English cook? Um, Jamie Oliver. Eh? Jamie Oliver. Oh. Oh, Jamie Oliver has brought a book out about beautiful potatoes. So okay. I think I might buy you that for Christmas. Oh, thank if you. If I'm still here at Christmas. You will be. You will be, Nana. You look, you look absolutely the way incredible. I, I'm there. I look awful. So do I. I don't think, oh, any, I don't think anyone... I look, in, Gorilla. Nana, Robert's trying to talk to you. I don't think anyone in the world would agree with you that you look awful. I think you look um, fantastic. How old are you, Nana? How old am I? Yes. I'm a hunter. Two and three weeks. 102 oh. and three weeks old. 102 years and three weeks. Wow. And just to ask you one more time, the oh. year you were born was 1915. The second of, the 9th of February, 1915. 1915. And uh, now, Nana, I'll, I'll Nana. Quickly, yeah. I'm going to quickly run through a few questions. I'll just let you know that every three minutes, this recording will have to stop because... Oh. Um, and I have to start a new one. So we're at two oh, minutes and 15. To look forward to. Um, um, now, Nat, Grandad worked in, was in the Air Force. He never saw a UFO during the Air Force. No, however, no. however, he observed many planes and he understood what he was seeing when he would see aircraft in the air. So your first encounter, you went to a certain place to live and where you pulled down the uh, power lines. Can you explain that? Oh, Leeton. We went to Leeton, yes, and that was um, about 18 months after we arrived in Australia. 1956. 1956, that was. Yep. And I'd always doubted the, the presence of those things that they were around. Now, this night, when the power was broken, the, the, everybody was in darkness, I was in the bedroom looking out the window, and the room, the road at the back of us was called the Bakyanko Road. And there was a farm there that was growing um, grapes. Right. And I saw this flying saucer come down, and I knew it was a flying saucer because it, it had the pulsating light coming around all the way around, yep. and it went around and around, and then whizzed off, went off again. Wow. That was the only time, but that was definitely. So what year was was that? Well, that was 1987. Oh, 1987. 1997. No. No. Um. 1957. 19, I thought it was more in the 50s. We came out to Australia in 1955. Yes. Uh, we came out in 55 and we stayed at Bar uh, Sydney for in a, uh, it was it had been a, an ex RAF station. Okay. And uh, we shared a, there were these tin huts and we had to, each one was two families. Flying <laughs> saucers going around the, the, um, uh, what do you call them? Uh, TV, um, TV, the TV masts. Yes. yes, yes. And we used to see them going around. Wow! See? Like, how close were you to that? Oh well, we'd be about four miles, I suppose. Four miles, but you could see them clearly at that distance. You could easily. Yeah, yeah. we what did see. Them. We had very big windows in the house, so we could follow them. You know. Wow! And what did they look like to you at that distance? Well, the same as they did at Lee, the the night that the lights went off in Leeton. They're sort of big, big, like big, big, well, flying saucers, as they called them. Yeah. And they had this pulsating looking coming from all the way around, you know. Yeah, so yeah. that was a magnificent thing to, to be able to, to witness. Uh, I've just been presented with a cup of coffee. I'll move that. You go to school. So that's how it is. And uh, now in Leeton, how close were you to the, to the uh, UFO? Oh, well, uh, oh, very close. Very close, really. Yep. Because our street was there. Then there was the Bakyanko, there were houses on the other side, and then there was the Bakyanko Road, and the farm was just there, so that would have been about 100 metres. Wow, that close. Or a, 
So that longer. was a real close encounter, that one. Yeah, that was a close close encounter. Yeah. Yeah, and also, on uh, Mum tells me a story of a night where she felt this sort of like heavy presence come over her house, and the that next was, morning, can you explain that, Mum? Yeah, that was your dad and I in Willow Road. Can you can and, we see you come up behind Nana there, Mum? My mum is in her 70s. Look how good she looks. No, come on, show us your face, mum. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we were in Willow Road in Upper Gully. Yeah. And you boys were asleep. And your dad and I had just gone off to sleep. Yeah. And do you remember the house in Willow Road? It was on the oh, side of a hill like that. I was a, I was a baby. Come down a little bit, mum, so we can see your face. Well, there when you we left, yeah. it was on a, a hill. Yes. And all of a sudden, there was this vibration over the house and then down the front of the house and across to King's Park, which is a big oval. Yeah. And both of us were too scared to get out and have a look. And I wish to this day that we had. Yeah. Anyway, we finally went to sleep. And the next morning, I took you boys round and said hello to Nana. And Nana said, I sat out on the deck last night. And she said, I watched flying saucers around the TV towers. And I said, oh, was it? there was one went over our house. Wow. That, wow. That's what the noise that's must have noise been. Was. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't like a help. If you have a helicopter go over, yeah, no, there's a, a lot of b -b 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 noise yeah, with it. Yeah. But this was like, <sighs> yeah, over, over and whiz, down. Yeah, yeah. Whiz, yeah. I just yeah. wish we had have looked. Yeah, yeah. But, got outside and had a look. Now, Richard also tells me that he remembers coming up to the, the porch where you were uh, living, Nana, and sitting with you and Grandad and watching yeah. dancing lights. He was sort hey. of saying there were like lights in the distance that were sort of dancing around. Yeah, dancing lights coming from the flying saucer. But both those time, the, the time in Upper Gully, there were reports the next day on the news yeah. how so many people had rung in whoever yeah. and said that they had seen flying a flying saucer. Oh, wow. I just, uh, I just find it fascinating that you know, like you and Nana aren't gullible people, but you, you can sort yeah. of uh, testify that you've had these encounters, you know. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, how many times would you have seen a UFO, Nana? Do you think? Oh, quite a few times. Like, are we talking just, a dozen times? When we got to Leeton, yeah. when we got to Leeton and the place was plunged into darkness, yeah, that was the only time we saw them saw it at Leeton. Yeah, yeah, only the once in Leeton. In Leeton, yeah. Yeah, but then at Ferntree Gully, you saw them how many times? Several, Several, several times. times. Going around the TV the TV towers. TV towers. Didn't you say that after the there was a uh, crossing the Bass Strait, there was a, a plane that went missing? Ah, or something? Yes. Oh, went into... Yeah. They've never found no. the plane. I don't know. I don't know what happened. But anyway, they disappeared and yeah. we never heard another thing about them. <laughs> I'm yeah. looking at myself doing this bun and I'm just like, Oh, you're a lovely That's not a British sign. <laughs> That's not a British sign. That's all right. I'll edit that part, Nana. <laughs> hey. I'll edit I'll edit the, the hot cross bun out. <laughs> Are you all on right. your own? Well, that's all my questions, unless you can think of any other encounters that you've seen that you c come to mind. I, you I, haven't... After that, no, I can't. Nothing at all. No. Yeah. You never think that that face there in that corner is the same person. Well, you, you would. No, no, no. No, no, Nana, no Nana, you are gorgeous. Stop looking at yourself and thinking anything other <laughs> I look some sort of South African creature, you know. <laughs> no, you don't. I, I, do. I do. I look like those little, those little things that stand up straight. Oh, a meerkat. Oh, meerkat. meerkat. That's what I look like. <laughs> you could you look do. like a sloth. Oh, don't call them. I don't like sloths. I don't I like... know. That's why I said it. I don't like the eyes of the sloth. <laughs> well, you have haven't got the eyes. sloth eyes, that's for sure. I haven't got what? You haven't got sloth eyes. Oh, thank you. Well, I don't, I don't think I've got the eyes at all. Like that well, thing. I think you're a beautiful nana. And thank you, Mummo. That's all right. Bye. Thank you. Thank well, thanks, guys. I love you so much. Thank okay. you, Robert. Thank you. All right. And we'll, and we'll do this again soon. Yeah, good. Well, get Tessa on it. So yeah, I'll get Tessa. I'll get the whole family so we can all say hello. I think it's better this way. <laughs> Everybody. See ya. All right, Love see to the ya. Family. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Love you. Love you.